you are watching networking root and in this video i will show you how to install and configure samba on your linux machine i'm using a linux mint you can use arch linux or you can use ubuntu as well benefit of samba is samba is a resource sharing program which will help you to share resources over your network example i'm working on this linux mint machine and i have created a few video or audio files which i want my windows or my mac machine to have usually what we have to do we have to carry a thumb drive or an external hard drive copy data from this machine and paste data to the other machine with the help of samba this problem will go away so let's start the video and let's see the commands how to install and execute other things in samba as well so sudo apt install samba it will take few minutes press the enter type in your root password i have already installed samba so that is why it is showing zero new upgrades zero new packets and so on so if you haven't installed Samba, it will take like one to two minutes to install Samba on your machine. Next thing we have to do is to create a user. Command is sudo add user space name of the user. In my case, that will be k1. Press the enter. And I don't want to set up the password because with this password, you can log in as k1 into your Linux machine. This is what I don't want. Keep on pressing enter several times until you see this screen try again no enter enter a few more times press yes that is it type clear now we have set up a user called k1 but this user is not added in the smb directory before adding this user to the smb directory we need to create a folder which we can share over the network let me see where i am i am on jadi so i will be going to the desktop especially desktop press the enter and i will be creating a directory with the help of mkdir command and i will name it k1 voila it's been created successfully now we have to make changes so cd and press enter now we have to change permission of this folder so that we can read write and execute from this folder let's go back to the desktop again press enter now type sudo space ch mode space triple seven it means read write and execute permissions given space name of the folder k1 press enter it is done ls that is in white this means we have given the read write and execute permissions successfully to this folder k1 so cd press enter now i want to add this k1 user to the smb directory to do that type sudo space smb password space hyphen a space name of the user k1 press enter oh oops i have to put a hyphen not a zero now give the password t double o r and retype it t double o r it is done k1 is added to the smb directory now we have to make changes to the smb.configuration file which is located in smb directory under the etc directory under the root directory so to access that sudo space nano space slash etc slash samba slash smb dot con press the enter oh i need a dot not a comma press enter and this is our smb.con file go down and open and close square brackets type share this is the thing you will see on the share side of the windows machine press enter now specify the path path is equal to slash home slash jd slash desktop let me change this to desktop and now i can go further and type the k1 because i want my network to access this k1 folder only which is on the desktop of jetty press enter now type valid user space equals to k1 press enter read only space equals to no browse able is equal to yes Control x save with y press enter now most of the part is done but we do need to know the ip address of this machine to do that i have config it is 192.168.1.6 this is my main windows machine and windows r type backslash backslash 192.168.1.6 
press the enter and now you can see this is the share double click on that now user is k1 password is t-o-o-r press enter now we have access to this folder called k1 but there is nothing in that so let me change it so clear let me see where we are we are in jd so cd desktop slash k1 i think my shift is not working properly desktop and k1 we are now in k1 so i'm gonna create a directory called k2 k3 k4 k5 press enter so let me see if we have these directories over the network click here we have these directories shared over a network now you can do this with your mac as well so you are not bounded with the windows only so you can share the same way on the linux as well i hope you find my videos informative if you do make sure you subscribe to my channel you like my video and you share this video with your fellow linux enthusiastic friends thank you so much for watching networking route signing off